Welcome to this video. In this video, I want to talk about how you can analyze the authorizations and the authorization objects of a transaction. So enjoy this video and let's get started. I think let's get started directly with the authorization object of a transaction itself. So if you open up the transaction code SU21, you can basically maintain authorization objects itself. But within here, you can also display authorization objects. And here right now, we open up the very important authorization object S underscore T code. Once you've entered the authorization object within here, you can basically just execute the selection and then you are in here and can see the authorization object once again, the text, the object class, the uh, yeah, the author, the package, uh, the criticality and uh, the authorization fields. And basically, yeah, within here, uh, if available, you can also display the documentation for this object and get a closer look of the authorization object. Within here, we can see that uh, the ST code is being used within your ABAP statement authority minus check to check if a user has the needed authorizations to execute a transaction. We will see in a couple of seconds that not only this authorization object is needed to call and to execute properly a transaction, there are some additional authorization objects in most cases needed but this is the main authorization object and here as mentioned with the authorization field uh, tcd you can see and you can enter within the pfcg within your roles um, if you are able to execute a transaction if you double click within here you can basically see that the data element the t code is being used we have a search a check table the tstc and you see exactly the same if we forward navigate into the domain that the tstc is the table that is being checked within the transaction code because within there all the transaction codes are stored so this is important to know first then to check the needed authorization object of a transaction you can call the transaction su24 this is the transaction to maintain the authorization default values to get some proposals and so on and within here you have to make sure that you select in type of application transaction because we would like to analyze the authorizations for a transaction and within the field transaction code you enter your transaction to that you would like to analyze the authorizations and in our case we just would like to check for the mm01 this is a transaction to create materials then what you have to do is you have to execute the selection and now all the default values will be selected and displayed within here and once again we have the very important authorization object s underscore t code and all the other authorization objects needed and for example within you can just click it copy it go to the su21 in a different screen so like this enter it, select it, uh, execute a selection and now here you can also see what kind of activities the authorization object has and uh, yeah, what, what other authorization fields are there and within this you can analyze the authorization objects I think really easily. An additional is instead of calling the SU24, you can also call the data browser. So I prefer the SE16N. You can also call SE16 or SE16H if you like to. And then within here, you enter the table USOB. T. This is the table containing uh, once again the relation between a transaction and the authorization object and within name you enter the transaction code so in our case it's MM01 and then you execute the selection and then once again within here you see the same results as you see in the SU24. 
Then let's go and jump to, I think, the most important transaction code regarding transaction. It's the SE93. Within here, you can basically once again type in your transaction code and then click on display. And within here, you see the main authorization object that is being checked to call the transaction. And within here, values, you see the basically the list of the authorization fields with the values to get a proper information and with double click on the authorization object you jump into the sd21 to analyze it more closely you have the same result as if you would uh, open up the data browser once again so with the se16n and then enter the table T S T A V T. I think this is the table containing information about authorization, transaction, and the corresponding text. And within transaction code, you enter once again MM01, and then you execute the selection. And now you see, based on the language, just um, Type in on language, for example, EN for English. And now within here, you have the same results as if you would open up the SE93. And with those information, I think you can almost analyze every authorization, authorization object for a transaction. If you have any further questions, put them in the comment section. Please like this video and please do not forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you so much and see you in the next video.